hot tea, yeah. Uh, right now I have herbal tea, caffeine free, yeah. I don't need to get my heart going crazy. I just need something to calm me down. Uh, honey, lemon. I can even put a little bit of sea salt. I don't know, cause. They did a test on uh, in a human tears, yeah, and then this is exactly the same amount of salt is in the ocean water. So inside of us is like almost like we're like the ocean water. It's a lot of salt, and that just clears. Um, how do you say fresh water? It is actually salt water, yeah. So hot tea. As many times as you want a day. You, now I'm just gonna drink hot tea. Not much sheer cold. Nothing really cold. It's been actually a pretty good amount of time since I go for crazy cold drinks. Once in a while, but rare. I'm trying to go warm, or even a little bit hotter. Because in the cold drink, whatever the drink we I choose to drink goes in my body. The body has to automatically start warming up whatever I'm drinking, yeah? So, if I'm drinking something around 35, I mean, yeah, 30, between 35 and 45 degrees, then I have to heat that amount of water, whatever drink I have, to my body temperature, and then from there, even if my body temperature might be not what I supposed to be, you know what I mean. So there's a lot of extra work my body has to do just to raise the temperature to be a normal, yeah. But if I go a little hotter, with my body is probably a little bit cold because with the age we have a little bad circulation going on through our bodies, and the body has to really, you know, do its best to keep the temperatures at the proper level. So yeah, I'm just gonna serve a little bit. We have 35 degrees now outside. <laughs> but even in this warm outside, it's better to go the warm drink or hot. Uh, my grandfather did a test on this um, two young uh, cows we have. So what they did, every year they'll have, you know, new newborns. So one year they give them water from the fountain. Yeah. From the well, so they put right to the well, straight in the bucket, and they drink it from there. Or well, the water will be really cold, yeah. And in the end of the like by in the end of the summer, by spring, they will sell them or they will they will cut them. But before that, they will weigh them to see how much they weigh. So the year they drink cold water, they actually weigh less, and then the year they drink hot water, and then I mean less. This is youngsters, yeah, you want them to grow, full grow right away because they're weaker and they are skinnier, yeah, and they have to have the right amount of muscles to keep up with the older ones, you know, and they're going to go out. And now they're just, there's not as, they're active, but they're not as strong, you know, so for them the main thing is to get them as strong as they get and uh, one year period, maybe less than a year, like in about 10 months. So, warm water, it got him stronger than the cold water. And all he did, he took the water out of the well in the bucket and let it in the sun. A couple hours and the sun kind of warm it up. But you can have like a big bucket where you can keep the water for the, like half a day. And then in the beginning, you know, for us as humans, because we have these habits, you might be like, oh, this is warm, it's not as cold as I want to. But if you put a little honey and a little, little lemon and then the other senses are coming up, you know, you can even put some spices and stuff like that. And then, yeah, hot tea. This one I'm still keeping them boiling. I want to keep that temperature as much as I want and then I'm going to hit this water again.